Alright, I got the Samsung A20 today from T-Mobile. Now this is an odd thing to comment on, but this box is tiny. You can see how much bigger the Revelry box is compared to the Samsung box. That doesn't mean anything, of course, but let's just check them out. Got your standard uh, tape on there from T-Mobile. Simple packaging. Doesn't really say much about what comes in it or specs of the device. I recently got the Revel, Revel Re Plus. I figured I'd compare it with this guy. Uh, and here it's just your standard papers and stuff, right? Start guide. And here's the phone itself. Behind there is the SIM card. That's a different little than they normally do. That's kind of neat. Uh, in the box is just a charger and the USB-C cord, USB-A to C cord. And it is, I believe, adaptive fast charging. So that's good. It's weird there's no plastic on this. No headphones. I watched somebody just uh, unbox the regular A20 and I think it had headphones. But uh, no big deal. So let's... That's kind of neat that there's a notch in the plastic. Oh, and there's a SIM ejection tool down there as well. Alright, as you can see on here, it says there is a micro SD card and a SIM tray. So on top, there's just a little uh, sound hole, right? On the bottom, there is a uh, 35 millimeter headphone jack, USB-C, speaker grill, uh, power button, volume buttons, and the SIM card tray is on the left hand side. It's a very long tray. Micro SD card, SIM card. I'm not going to transfer to this one yet because I'm going on a trip. Oh, there's nice. There's a little plastic sticker around the bezel. So that's a good job with Samsung there. I'm trying to keep this guy nice. See? It's on both sides. Alright, let me go ahead and power him on. If you want a little size comparison, here is the Revelry compared to it. Uh, you can tell the notch is bigger on the Revelry than on the Samsung device. Uh, chin's a little bigger too. The screen on the Samsung is 6.4 inches and 6.2 inches. If you wanted a size comparison with the Pixel 3a XL, they're about the same physical size. Uh, the Pixel is a smidge taller, but the Samsung has a bigger screen. Physically, it's about the exact same size as the T-Mobile Revelry Plus, but this one is thinner. I'm going to do a fresh install. Pretty good haptic feedback. Uh, I've had lots of Samsung devices over the year. I've never had a Samsung budget or mid-range phone. I've only had the S series or the Note series. I'm recording this right now on the Note 9. I had the S10 Plus and returned it. Uh, yeah, in case you're thinking that that 6.4 inch screen is too big, here is a 6.7 inch screen on the OnePlus you can see it's a much, much larger device. Uh, this is going to be a pretty good bang for the buck as far as screen size to physical device size. Actually, I'm just going to skip that for now. I am going to test this guy out. Oh, face recognition, fingerprints, and pins. So let's try fingerprints. Oh, 
I'll set a pin first. So there's the finger, but it's a weird shape. It's kind of like a square. This phone's kind of gray looking. That's pretty neat, right? You just swipe down and it gets it almost 100% from the first swipe. Probably if I wasn't holding this to the camera, it would work. Let's try again. Yeah, just one swipe. You can get it all in there. Let's check the basics. I will uh, set this up. Not right now, but I will set it up. I'll eventually tie it to my watch and use it for a week and get my thoughts on it and see how it compares to the old Revel Revelry Plus. Right now, I'm just going to skip everything, so I'm just trying to get to the basics. All right, so it's a nice, colorful screen. I like that. It's a very good-looking screen. I mean, the Revelry looks pretty good as well. Uh, that's my one complaint about this Pixel 3a XL. The screen's kind of dull. All right, so people like to see how much bloatware, as they call it, is on here. So all the Google apps, just no big deal there. Samsung has their default My Files, Samsung Health, My Files, Samsung Health members. Uh, all those are fine by me. T-Mobile has their standard uh, T-Mobile and their name ID and visual voicemail. I use all those, so it doesn't bother me either. On top of that, you have this McAfee security suite, uh, which I'll probably will uninstall. And Spotify, but I'm going to use Spotify anyhow, so that's not a big deal. No Facebook on here. Where's on there? But I'm going to use that. So, uh, not bad. Right off the cusp. Right off the rip. Uh, so it's currently on Android 9, e one UI version 1.1. And the June 1st security patch. That's not bad. Let's just see if there's any software updates available. And it does. Uh, yeah. Still June 1st security patch, but this phone just came out on Saturday, uh, Friday, and it's now Sunday. So it was pretty good. Or at least for T-Mobile, it only came out then. We'll let this update, and then we'll check back in. All right, so here you can see uh, software update. It's nothing really, just device stability. We install now. Very Samsung One UI look here. I like that. Same with these. Well, that was one of the slowest updates I've ever seen. It's in the process of updating. I was that positive. I stopped the video for that, but uh, the actual on my side, that took uh, much longer than I expected. It's not a problem because you shouldn't be doing those updates all the time, but it's just something I'm pointing out. I will say right off the, uh, again, the screen looks really good. Uh, it's only 720p. Uh, I saw that pointed out in a couple of videos. But it looks good to me. I mean, it looks solid. Samsung is particularly good at screens. Usually they're much better. I said I'm a Note guy. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Note series. So this looks pretty sweet to me. Obviously, this isn't going to be on the level of the... This isn't going to be on the level of the Note 9 or even the Note 10. It's weird that things 305 apps are installed. That doesn't seem right. Uh, I do believe the Revelry has more RAM and a smaller battery. So I think this has 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigabytes of onboard storage. I could be wrong about that. I'll try to post a little side piece, maybe. Maybe not. Won't hurt you to look this stuff up. This phone, I think, is just 250. The Rev the A20 is only 250, whereas this one, I think, is 350. If you're in this uh, budget to mid range world and you're on T Mobile, I would say your biggest options at this point would be the Revel. Revelry plus the Google Pixel 3a XL. Uh, the Pixel is going to be the best camera, probably without a doubt. I was looking forward to this phone, but then when I did a speed test on the Revelry, uh, it wasn't scoring as well. So there's a lot of stuff you can change here. It has a lot of the Samsung goodness. Like, uh, obviously, the Pixel is going to be stock Android, and the Revelry is going to be very close. Uh, personally, I find stock Android pretty boring. I like uh, all the cool shit Samsung does. Boom. So now we're at dark mode all of a sudden, right? You know, before we didn't have dark mode. Now we do. Uh, I'm going to change my display size. And my screen, my screen zoom. I like big ass font. So maybe we'll take this down a notch. That looks pretty good. We'll change this to a minute. Navigation bar, you can move them around, you can do gestures if you want. 
Uh, I like the Samsung setup. So but let's, let's check a couple things, right? So we just did an update. So that puts us on still on the June 1st security patch level. Let's just see if there's another software update. So we're on June 1st. Uh, the Pixel, of course, is going to be on July. No natural dark mode on the Pixel. Uh, July security patch. Now the Revelry, which came out like two weeks ago, is on the May 1st security patch. So that's something to think about. So let's check storage level. So you can put a micro SD card uh, off the rip. You have 32 gigabytes, uh, 11 already used, so 18 or 20 available. So right off the bat, you have 20 gigabytes available. That's where the Revelry will uh, be better if onboard storage is important to you. I do think that's pretty low. Uh, the Revelry has 64 gigabytes of storage right off the rip. So much better. And then the Pixel also at 64 gigabytes of storage. So 32 is pretty low for 2019. So that's a pretty big negative there. Memory. So you get a total of 3 gigabytes of RAM. So on the Pixel, it says we got 3.8 gigabytes. So essentially 4 gigs of RAM. Same thing on the uh, Revelry, also 4 gigabytes of RAM. So that's kind of a bogus about the Samsung. That could be a concern. Especially since Samsung is going to be a heavier skin. Camera wise, you have, I mean, it looks pretty much, it's pretty similar to the Note 9 camera. I mean, the quality probably is not going to be the same. I'm going to take a couple quick pictures here. And I'll tag those at the end. These are no uh, special pictures, right? I'm just quickly hitting the button and we'll see how those look. Weight. It is uh, about as heavy as the Pixel. I think the Revelry, uh, about the same too. So weight's really no big difference there. Size, it's about to see, look, you can see how much thinner. I don't know if we can get that in camera here, but my fingernail is hitting the side of that, right? So it is a fingerprint magnet, boy. I've literally just been using this, uh, or else I'm just a greasy motherfucker. I'm in Kentucky, maybe I'm just covered fried chicken. Of course, you have your headphone jack, which is great. Uh, I think the screen looks great. So I like that. So I'm biased because I'm a Sam well, I was a Moto fan, which is Revelry. It's basically a Moto uh, phone. So, all right. So uh, that's you know, there's nothing major to show you out of the box of the net. Uh, up here, what we got? We have a lot of stuff. Blue light filters, great. NFC is there. Someone asked me about that in one of my videos. Secure folder. That's where you can hide private shit. That's a cool feature. Oh, it has that secure Wi-Fi feature that Samsung comes with. That's pretty good. So, yeah. I mean, there's you're getting a lot of stuff here. You're sacrificing storage and RAM. Uh, RAM is the bigger concern, I believe. Maybe Samsung has some magic going on here. Dolby Atmos. That's good. What's navigation? Oh, that gives you the gesture style. I don't want that. I hate gestures uh, yeah i mean i'm taking it so far obviously we haven't had any time to play with it uh, i don't know how durable it'll be i'll probably get a case for it i don't like cases but i don't know it's only 250 it is nuts how dirty this thing is so i'll have to get a case or else it's just gonna look gross uh, so pluses the screen is bigger than both the pixel or the rebel plus uh there is a notch where the pixel doesn't uh, these both the Revelry and the A20 do, but the A20 has a smaller notch, so that's good. And I like the uh, Samsung skin, so uh, I gotta say it's cool looking. Uh, this gray is cool looking, other than being a fingerprint magnet, that's a cool gray as well. So anyhow, uh, I'll give it a shot. I'll try, I'll run it through the paces. Like I said, I'm gonna plug it into the uh, S3 Frontier. I have Android Auto on my Jeep. I'll test it on that. I'll do some speed test, uh, the whole shebang. Uh, just keep checking back. Uh, sometime next week we'll have some more of these videos. All right, thanks for checking me out.